Hi everyone. So today we're going to go over two really cool 3D printed slash hardware projects. The first one is a fantastic vice project that um, came from a YouTube video that went kind of viral and it showed the restoration of what's called a fractal vice. And for those who don't know, a fractal vise is kind of like a, a fractal pattern in that it is just smaller and smaller dividing in half um, pieces that are attached to each other or copies of those things. So you can see there's a half moon here and that can move. And then there's two more like that. And then two more and then two more on these little guys here. So a really cool idea and the original uh, one from the viral video was in fact all metal, uh, but this is the 3D printed version and I will have a link down below to all the hardware used to make this and to the video of the designer of this who walks through how to assemble it and how cool it is. Um, so what hardware is involved if you want to make one of these of your own? Well, you're going to need a 3D printer and a lot of time. With one 3D printer, it was about five, four or five 18 hour prints to get all of the parts for this. And I know it looks kind of small, but it's actually built up of many, many parts. And they want you to, to print at a pretty dense infill so that this thing can, can stand up to really being cinched down. Um, on top of that, you have two round rods here, eight millimeter, and then an eight millimeter uh, trapezoidal um, screw. You have a bunch of M3 hardware. So I got a M3 assorted uh, hardware kit in order to build this. And then you have a couple standard skateboard bearings here and here to facilitate um, the, the trapezoidal screw rotating. And then you also have uh, right in here four um, uh, linear bearings. And those allow this to slide really nicely. So when you're all finished, you have this cool little handle here. You can put it on the edge of your bench and you can tighten or loosen the fractal vise. Now, why is this so cool? What is a fractal vise and why should you care? Well, if you've ever tried to clamp down something that's not flat, you can see on here, uh, these are not flat edges. If you ever tried to clamp down maybe something like this, right? If you try to clamp this with two flat edges, you can get into a weird spot where it's hard to uh, really secure it. That's what the fractal um, vice is for. So I'm gonna clamp this here and then I'll show it to the camera. Um, I'll also throw in some B-roll in a second of this being clamped. Basically you just set it right about there. And as you clamp together, all of the little jaws adjust to fit the curvature and the shape of the thing you're clamping. So you can see here that all those jaws have now fit along this shape and along the strange shape of the front here, and this is locked in there. So this allows you to work on things and uh, really secure any work that's you know of a, of a strange shape. So if you're doing things like painting or you know uh, carving or or writing or things like that on strange shapes, you can do that here. So it was, it was a really fun project. It probably took about two hours to build once everything was printed. And I will link all of the parts to this fun project down below. In the same vein of this, there is a really cool thing um, from Edelkrone. And Edelkrone makes really high end camera support gear. So that'll be sliders, uh, small jibs, uh, motorized sliders, uh, focus units, all sorts of really cool stuff that you can use a phone to control. So you can have tracking shots and all fun stuff like that. But one thing that they did um, to kind of spur on the maker movement and for in, in the environmental side of things is they made this series um, for, with 3D printed components. So basically what that means is you print the parts 
and they provide the specialty metal hardware. So this is $30, and normally this is $125 if you get the all stainless version. But they have the exact same weight capacity and the exact same function. So as you can see here, this opens up. You have a little quarter 20 screw, and I can attach my fun little ZV-1 here. Just like that. And imagine this was on a tripod or a slider or something. It's really nice to have the ability to do a top-down shot or to look straight up or maybe just to get a little bit higher up on what you need to shoot or just angle down a little bit. Normally on a tripod, you're stuck to the, the tripod angle, which is you know any, anywhere from maybe something down like this to up like this. But what if you just needed a little bit higher or you wanna look directly down? This is where it's at. So the hardware costs $30 and then you put it together. It comes with a little manual. It also has a 3 8 uh, inch uh, adapter here. So you can put this onto a tripod um, and it comes with a quarter 20 adapter if you want to put it on any quarter 20 hardware. But this little combo right here with the Sony ZV-1 and uh, this Edelkrone Flex Tilt is an awesome, awesome combo, especially when you put it on a slider because uh, when something's on a slider, you want to dial it in and then you're like, oh, my shot's just too high. You can, you can point it exactly where you want it and get that perfect shot. So these two projects, uh, the Edelkrone Flex Tilt 3D version and the Fractal Vice 3D printed project, uh, both require a 3D printer and some hardware. You obviously buy this hardware for $30. All of this hardware, I bought it in bulk, so it came out to about 75 bucks um, altogether. The M3 hardware, I think I paid around 25 bucks, and then the trapezoidal screws, linear bearings, skateboard bearings, um, T-nut, all that fun stuff costs a bit more. But that's the nice part. When you buy in bulk, yes, it's expensive for that first project, but then you have stuff laying around. So you can build fun stuff that just pops into your head because you already have the parts for it. So it's, it's worth doing that if you're thinking about um, kind of doing more of these half 3D printed, half metal hardware projects. Um, like I said, all of the links are in the description below. I will be doing more projects like this and showing them uh, on this channel. So um, yeah, if, if you like that kind of stuff, come on back later. Thank you.